I was talking to a young man the other day and he said he was having an affair with a lady and they broke the relationship but every now and then he would just be there and he would be feeling the lady and then he will be having some thoughts and imagination then he will start having all these picture of how they used to do some stuff before he broke the relationship and he said what is that and i said he's a soul tie somebody says soul tie soul tie what is a soul tie sex is marriage so anytime you have you you sleep with somebody you tie your soul with the person's soul you establish a covenant and a union between your soul and that person so he said so what's going on i said she's pulling on you she said what do you mean i said it's like a remote control she can be anywhere she is and desire you and want you and especially if she's working with a spirit or powers from the other side she can make demands and claims on you or she can imagine or send a projection through her thought concerning you and if you are spiritually not sensitive you pick up the phone and call her and she will say you know i was just thinking about you no she was projecting something she's cast a spell she's making a claim so he said what do you do and i said say in the name of jesus i intercept any claims demands Demand. being, made being made on my consciousness, on my consciousness subconsciousness, consciousness, my, emotions, my emotions, my will, my, will, my, soul, my soul, I intercept. I, intercept. I, terminate it I terminate it in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. And, I and I renounce any stronghold, any stronghold and, power and power the enemy has, the enemy has over, me over me as a result, as a result of, past relationships of past relationships in the name of Jesus the name of and Jesus. say I untie my soul. I, untie my soul. I free up my soul. I free up my my soul from any connection from any connection to her name whatever her name is you mention it and don't let anybody hear you because after they say somebody say what name did you mention <laughs> hallelujah amen. don't mention the name it's between you and the lord amen but that's why people can be good people and then they sin they confess but they can't break out they keep going back to it and they say what but i've confessed i don't know why i keep doing it you keep doing it because it's not just confession only you got to break the soul tie say break it break it yeah if you don't break the soul tie you keep going back to it i was talking to a lady the other day and she was saying that papa how do you deal with loneliness and i said loneliness is a void it's not the absence of people it's a void only god can fill it so all of you feeling lonely you don't need a man or sex or drugs you don't believe me ask solomon solomon had this void and he thought that he needed sex he needed women so he had all kinds and types of women and he had 1000 women and the void was still there and he said what's going on all of this is vanity i tried everything it's not working it's a void sex can't fill a void only the holy spirit can fill a void and god god intentionally has left that void there that only him can fill it so you have to seek him and it's the more you seek him that you get full Ephesians be filled with what the spirit now it, that's not the original the original said keep being filled with the spirit say keep being filled keep being filled keep being filled, keep being filled. and then listen to the next verse he said he said be not drunk with wine wherein is what excess so what is he saying here what it means is it takes keep being filled with the spirit to quench the test to fill that void if you try to use anything else wine sex anything you go into excesses 
because it will never be filled and you want more and then you try more and then you try more and then you keep trying and then you keep trying it's never going to be filled it's like you are thirsty you want water a thirsty of water and then you drink coffee then you drink coke then you drink this then you drink that in going to quench the test you must have what come on talk you must have what somebody shout you must have what say water. water that's what you need and the church don't know that so you have people born again speaking in tongues and feeling lonely and don't understand that is because your water level has dropped and you have to keep being filled in the spirit by praying in the Holy Ghost and worshiping and keep on worshiping and praying in the spirit every now and then sometimes three four five times a day for the water level to rise for the water level to rise